guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I fill in my eyebrows. This is one of my most requested videos, so let's go ahead and get started. To start off, I'm going to be using this primer here. This is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I always use a primer before I do my brows because I do put foundation on top and concealer on the bottom, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply this really quick. Before I show you guys what brow product I actually use, I'm going to go ahead and show you the two brushes that I use most for my brows. The first one is this brush here. This is my Morphe. This is an E29, so it has a spoolie on one end and then an angled brush on the other side. And the second brush I use is an E43. For brows, I use this Anastasia Pomade, and this is in the shade Medium Brown. To go ahead and start, I'm going to use this spoolie end here to go ahead and brush my eyebrows in an upward motion and then down towards the tail. Now I'm going to use the angled part of it and go ahead and trace out the eyebrow here. So again, I'm just very, very lightly filling it in and just getting the overall shape of it. So you guys may notice I'm missing a little bit of brow hair here, here, so I'm just going to put a little bit more pressure in that area. Also, if you guys may have noticed, I did start over here versus the very, very beginning of my eyebrow because I don't like my eyebrows to be too squared off. So again, I'm just going to trace the outline very lightly and then a little bit more pressure where I'm missing some brow hair, just to kind of fill that in. I'm just dipping back into my pomade and I'm going to lightly fill in the outer parts of my brow, so from this part on out. And of course, you can make this as dark as you would like or as light as you would like, just depending on your personal preference. So now when I get to the very beginning of my brow, I just take the product that I kind of use down here and I just push up with my brush with no additional product or the leftover product that I use from filling out um, this part of my brow. So I'm just taking this and pushing this up again with no additional product. I'm also going to kind of square it off just a tiny bit in the beginning here. No additional product, just kind of using the product that was here and kind of blending it in together. So there's one brow. I'm gonna go ahead and do this brow off camera because this is my good brow. I just wanted to show you guys how I do my more complicated brow. I will go ahead and just fast forward this part. Okay guys, so these are both of my eyebrows done. I know that there are some sparse areas. I kind of do like for my brows to be a little bit sparse because I want them to be just a tad bit natural, um, not necessarily too thick or too dark. So now I'm just going to show you how I clean them up. So for the bottom part of my eyes, I'm just going to be using my Tarte Tape Shape Concealer and I'm just going to use that same brush, the flat one, and I'm going to go ahead and just outline and carve this out here. I'm also going to take the same brush and take the concealer downwards just to kind of blend it out a little bit because it can get tricky if you're trying to blend this out with a beauty blender. So I take care of most of that with this brush.
Probably the tops of my eyes, I'm just gonna be using my foundation. I don't necessarily like to use concealer because I don't like the halo effect. Um, so I'm just gonna use a tiny bit to clean up the top. I do like to dot like this and kind of make an outline to make this a little bit easier for me to trace out later. I'm just gonna go ahead and dot all around my brow and then fully kind of just go over it with my brush. I also start up a little bit higher and then work my way down to the side of my brow. And then same thing like we did with the concealer, I'm just going to go ahead and blend this part up. This comes in pretty handy if you do your brows before your foundation because now you already have foundation here and you don't have to worry about maybe messing up your brows because this part's already done for you. So that's just a little tip for you guys. together with my beauty blender and I'll be right back. So now I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Again, I'm going to fast forward this really quick because I'm doing the same exact thing. Concealer on the bottom and then foundation on top with the same brush. Okay guys, so here are both of my brows so far. When it comes to the middle of my brows, again, I don't like something very squared off. So I'm just going to put an amount of foundation kind of in the middle and just blend that as I go. And however they come out is just however they come out. So again, I'm just not necessarily being too careful with it. I'm just blending up and down. To go ahead and seal the deal, I'm just going to be using this Clear Gel Brow by e.l.f. And I do like pushing the hair upward, especially in this kind of section here where I don't have as much brow hair, um, just so I can go ahead and cover that up. I'm just gonna go ahead and set my concealer under my brows with um, some Cody Airspun powder and I'm just lightly gonna tap over my brow bone. Later I'm just gonna be using this one here. This is by Laura Geller and it's in the shade Gilded Honey. Okay guys, so these are my brows so far. Um, they're basically done, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup. That way you guys can kind of see what it looks like all put together. Guys, so that brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy watching it. Again, this is my most requested video. I know that it was a very, very simple process, but anything that you guys kind of ask for, I will definitely film for you guys. Really quick, I just wanted to say a big thank you to 500 subscribers. I am currently working on grabbing items for this giveaway. My current one is still up. If you guys want to check it up, I will link it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye!